Hey guys, Josh here with a new video and today um, it's going to be a Digimon uh, TCG discussion where I'm going to be answering uh, what's probably the question I've seen the most on all the all the message board message boards and stuff uh, for this TCG. I've seen it literally countless times so that's why I figured I might as well answer the question for you guys which is what's the best deck? So before I get into the actual meat of the video, I just want to point out that um, for this video I'm going to be looking at it purely from a competitive standpoint. So I'm just going to look at like if you want to win a tournament, what's the deck that will most likely get you that result? By no means I mean like uh, if you want to play the, play the deck that's uh, ranked the lowest on my list, go ahead. In fact, the, the deck I like the most at this point uh, is actually ranked the second lowest on this list so uh, just basically you can play what you want play what you think is the most fun it's the most enjoyable for you and even if you really just want to win i don't think the gap between the the different colors in the game as of right now is that big like there there are some card games where some decks just can't compete i think uh, even like the deck that's the worst in my opinion can still be the deck that's the best in my opinion so keep that in mind just play what you like and um, yeah with that being said let's just uh, go right into it with uh, the sixth best color in my opinion or I guess the worst which is at this moment uh, green basically uh, what I think about green is uh, it has a lot of cards that are potentially really really strong like uh, Togemon, Pelmon, Taridamon, they all have this effect where like if you ditch for or play them you can review cards from the top of your deck to add certain cards to your hand which I think is really powerful since Digimon doesn't really have actual searching from the deck yet and maybe it never will, we don't know um, and it's basically the next best thing like they give you an additional plus one on summon aside from the draw if you hit the cards of course and they uh, allow you to just go to your, through your deck faster. Aside from that, they have like some some gimmicks, uh, mostly revol uh, revolving around uh, suspending like your own Digimon or your opponent's Digimon. But with uh, Booster Set One, um, it's just not that powerful. Basically, like Flower Cannon is nice at all. Like it it costs just two um, two memory to play, and then. It will most likely allow you to uh, run over one of your opponents, uh, suspend the Digimon, which is good. And um, it also has two of the best uh, tamers in my opinion, which are Mimi and Izzy. Basically Izzy, fi I think, um, allows you to, if you have a level 5 or higher Digimon, you can suspend it to uh, review the top card of your deck. And if it's a green Digimon, you can enter your hand, which is really powerful, basically a an additional draw each turn. Aside from the draws you already get when digivolving, and then Mimi really allows you to uh, speed up your game by al allowing you a, an additional hatch or uh, raise, aside from the actual raising phase, which is potentially insane. But uh, it's mostly just lacking in actual powerful boss monsters. They, uh, at this moment, they have Rosemon, which provides a cool uh, control game. And they have uh, Rustar Venomon, which is pretty cool. It's like the only Digimon in the in the game right now that allows you to uh, attack active Digimon. So that's pretty cool. But like the cost for it is pretty high, and like it is good, but it's not that powerful. And same for the Rosemon. Like the gimmick is cool, but I don't think at this point it will allow you to beat the decks that are higher up this list. So that's why I put uh, green as the worst deck that brings us to the fifth best deck which I don't think it differs in power from green that much but it's gonna be the black deck um, black has some really cool gimmicks as well basically it has like the the blocker thing where black has the most blockers out of all the colors right now and they can utilize it pretty pretty well the blocks are really, really big as well especially if you combine it with the with the Tide Tamer, the black one, and uh, it also has uh, some 
the Digivolve uh, gimmicks with uh, several of the option cards and of course uh, Machine Drummond's on play effect. But uh, in fact, Black even has some um, really powerful boss monsters uh, opposed to Green, which if I put a little bit higher, they have the Oboromon, which um, really puts a lot of pressure on the opponent. If you have uh, set up the entire uh, Caramon line, it, it allows you to generate both uh, a lot of advantage as well as set up a lot of pressure by spawning the Diaboromon the tokens. But um, honestly, the biggest issue with Black is that it has a really bad matchup against um, uh, Omnimon, which uh, deletes all uh, Digimon with the same name, so basically against Diaboromon that's obviously broken because it deletes the Diaboromon as well as all the tokens you might have on the field. And then it also deletes all the blockers you might have on the field with the same name. So if you have like some Gutsumon lined up or Gartumon, it's just, it just deletes all of them on uh, Digivolve, which uh, is pretty strong. So that's mostly the reason why I think uh, it will be really hard for Black to compete, even though I think the, the entire blocker thing, it's really good at this point in the game, especially against um, decks like uh, the Splash Rookie Burst deck or the Purple Rookie Burst deck. It really prevents them from doing what they want to do, and it really forces your opponent to basically um, think about what they want to do. They can't just go, go attacking your security or attacking um, your suspended Digimon without really thinking about other lines of play. But um, even though the boss monsters are, they are pretty good. I don't think they're quite as good as the boss monsters, that, which will be higher up on the list. So yeah, with that we'll be moving on to um, the fourth best deck, or best color I should say, which is actually um, yellow, which might be a little bit of a surprise to some since yellow actually got its own structure deck, so the card pool for yellow is just bigger than for the other colors mostly. But, um, and I think yellow does have some really cool and really good stuff going on. It mostly has... Um, the gimmick where it plays with your security, like it uh, grants you additional security with some Digivolves and some uh, on-play effects like Magna Angemon and Seraphimon. And then it also has the other gimmick, which I think is really cool, where it lowers your opponent's uh, DP. And in some um, situations, it, it uses that to delete your opponent's Digimon. And deleting your opponent's Digimon with card effects is just really, really strong in this game. Um, and then because it has a structure deck, it also uh, just has some more cards to play with. It has the, what's it called, the the uh, seven, seven drop option that um, reduces uh, Digimon's DP by 10,000. So that will destroy like the majority of all Digimon in the game right now, which is really good. It also has access to the, to the TK uh, Tamer from the, from the booster set which says if you play it, you can look at your security and then add one to your hand. If it was a yellow card, which it will almost always be in the yellow deck, you can uh, plus one security from the top of your deck, which is obviously just really, really strong in my opinion. Um, and like the deck has a, has a lot of uh, things going for it, but it's just a bit, a bit lacking. Um, it's mostly, again, just the boss monster thing. You'll see that like the, the top two colors in my opinion just have the, the best boss monster in the game. And yellow does have some decent boss monsters, but they just can't compete with the with the number uh, one and two on the list. And then uh, before going to uh, spot three, I said before like there's not a huge gap between all the decks. Like I think all the colors can beat each other depending on the matchup, depending on the player, depending on the build, uh, depending on just the cards that are drawn. But I think the gap from uh, the bottom three decks to the top three decks, there's like a little bit of a gap where the top three decks are just significantly more powerful than the bottom three. Like they will beat the bottom three uh, the majority of the time, basically. The vast majority of the time. So with that, I think the third best color right now is uh, purple. And purple is a really interesting deck because it doesn't really have super powerful boss monsters per se. But they just they generate a crazy uh, ton of advantage because it's the only color that also it interacts with the discard pile, 
with cards like uh, Met, which is one of the best tamers in my opinion, where it allows you to add a purple card from your discard pile to your hand to play. And then of course there's the Paimon, which just puts so much pressure on your opponent by basically for um, the on play effect you get three Digimon to your field. And even if you don't want to apply pressure with Paimon, you can uh, summon back the, the, the Valmon, which is the blocker for purple, from the discard pile as well to set up your defenses. Uh, where usually, even if you have uh, like a couple of rookies in your hand, you, can, you can't just start playing that because at some point your opponent hits uh, one or two memory and then it's just their turn. While Paimon, it might give your opponent a lot of memory when you play it, but it does also exert a lot of pressure. And then it just has a bunch of other good cards like uh, Tapiumon, the Gabumon Rookie, which has a really good inheritable. Like they allow you to play without fear, basically. You can just start crashing your Digimon into the, into the security. And then even if it gets deleted, um, you, you keep calling, getting advantage by drawing cards, by milling cards. So I think that's pretty strong. Uh, it's also just really consistent because of those effects I mentioned, like you can just keep drawing and keep keep milling. Um, so yeah, that's why I think uh, even though purple doesn't have a specific boss monster that's really powerful, it just has like arguably one of the best card pools in the game right now, straight out of the box. Um, which will of course like change, like the other colors will get really. Um, uh, good cards as well, like uh, there's definitely some uh, hidden potential in uh, in green and even like uh, black will also get some uh, pretty good support with like the, the structure decks and the, the set 1.5 um, and yellow also will get like better boss monsters shine Greymon will be in the in the 1.5 set which is a really powerful boss monster it's a really a shame to be honest they didn't put it in uh, in the current set, because I think yellow would have been definitely one of the top decks, which sadly now it just isn't. Um, but yeah, I'm drifting off. I think I mentioned all the reasons why purple is such a such a strong deck, and it's really cool as well. So the gimmick is really uh, it's really interesting. Basically, I think all the colors have pretty cool gimmicks that they um, delve into in an interesting way, which makes it fun to play. So yeah, uh, let's just move on to. Um, Number two, basically the colors left are blue and red, and um, I think blue is the best deck uh, at this moment, so that makes red the second best deck. And uh, I'll just talk about these at the same time because they are pretty similar. Basically the reason they are the best decks to play is they have the, the, by far the best boss monster in the game, which is Omnimon. Yellow and purple have technically have access to um, Millenniumon, which is really strong, like um, Untitch Evolve, it allows you to spin uh, a Digimon for uh, to the bottom of the deck, which is strong. Then also, it's, it's really hard to out. Basically, the only uh, card that outs it appropriately is another Millennium one, since when you destroy it, it just will uh, summon itself back. But the, the effect Omnimon has, it's just so much better than uh, Millennium one, which you can play in purple and black decks, by the way, if you want. Um, Omnimon is just, probably every, everyone will be familiar with what it does at this point, but when you ditch forward you can destroy uh, one Digimon and other Digimon with the same name, and then also uh, it can attack twice basically by um, using one of the, the sword uh, level 6 Digimon and then bouncing into your hand. Um, and both blue and red, you can just go your deck really easily with uh, low drop monsters to just turbo into the Omnimon basically. But then the reason I think blue is slightly better than uh, red is that red, it is really strong, it has like arguably the best uh, option card in the game, which is uh, Gaia Force, which just outright destroys any Digimon. It's specific specifically very powerful in the while well, it's in the security. And it has a lot of like good aggro cards, but the gameplay is just very straightforward and even at the aggro aspect I think blue might do it a little bit better just because of the entire uh, Gabumon line from the booster box which sets up for the Metal Gear Room on. Uh, I'll just show the show the cards on the screen so you know what I mean. 
which generates a ton of advantage and it allows you to attack twice even before dropping the Omnimon. So basically the reason I think blue is a little bit better is uh, that the Digimon you get to before Digimon into the Omnimon are better than the Digimon red has access to. And then blue also has a little bit of a better uh, control game where it actually manipulates um, your opponent's Digivolution resources, which can obviously just hinder them in their gameplay as well, where red just basically goes for the aggro, just attacks and destroys Digimon, which of course is also <laughs> very, very powerful, but the cost is often higher, and um, blue just generates more advantage like that. So that's why I think um, blue is the best color to play right now if you want to go uh, the competitive route and play uh, Digimon really competitively. Uh, <laughs> you would probably have to invest some money into it because Omnimon is uh, also the most expensive card in the game right now but if you just uh, want to win it is probably the best pick but again just play whatever you like because it's not like uh, green which are ranked the lowest will never beat uh, blue in a game like if you know what you're doing and uh, your deck building is on point you can easily take some games from, uh, from the blue deck it's just that the blue deck will in the majority of the cases just be inherently stronger because of Omnimon basically, which is uh, very powerful. Uh, so yeah, that's basically my thoughts on what the best colors are right now um, with uh, Special Booster 1.0. Of course, uh, in February when the new set hits, that will all change again. In fact, <laughs> I think uh, the color I rank the lowest at this point might actually be the best at that point, but until then, uh, the game is just released, we have so many games to play, so much more things to discover, so I might entirely be wrong. If you think so, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed the content, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.